This is one of those projects where you wonder if you're wasting your time on the value of something. This is a small generator given to me by a friend because he couldn't stop the carb <coughs> the engine from sur surging even with replacement carb. So I worked on it. I thought it was an air leak. I have no idea. I finally got it resolved. It started running all right. Of course it sits, so every now and again you go start it up to make sure you keep the gas moving through it. I was doing that and then all of a sudden it won't start again. That time it turned out to be a fuel issue. I had to replace that shutoff valve there. It wasn't working anymore and it wasn't letting the fuel through. So after I finish that and I'm working on it, all of a sudden it doesn't want to start. I trace it down to a lack of spark. Wow, that's what I need now. At times I would get a little bit of spark, but put it on the plug. No, not enough spark. So it's been sitting because it's not a common unit. You can get a coil for it at a ridiculous price of probably $70 Canadian. So I left it. Today I decided let's get this thing out of the way, store it away, forget about it. But I decided to test it first. I put the, the drill on here and spun it. The, it's disconnected. No spark whatsoever. Then I decided, well, let me do some tests. It's hard to test a coil, but I got on the kill tab, I got 1.5 ohms. But on this, with that on it, I got infinite. And then I thought, I had a Honda one time where this, this part went bad. And then I realized I could turn this on the cable. So I snapped it off, as you can see, have the bare wire there. Now I don't have infinite resistance on that wire anymore. And when I put the spark tester on it and turn it over, I have a spark. So if it doesn't start up and run, I'll add to my, well, I'll add to my comments anyway, whether it actually runs when I put it back together. But it's one of those frustrating little things for something you don't use very much that isn't worth a lot of money.